Hey guys, welcome to another quick track review. Today we're going to be talking about the new song from Weezer, Mexican Fender. So of course, Weezer are one of my favourite bands of all time. I've talked about them a few times on this channel. Um, um, I talked about them when I did a review of the White Album last year. Um, I also reviewed the previous single from this upcoming album, Feels Like Summer. Um, I even talked about my Pinkerton vinyl that I have back there on my record collection video, I think on my last update actually. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of these guys. I've been listening to them for a long time. They just announced a new album yesterday, which um, we all knew was coming, but um, I don't think we were expecting it to be what it actually is. Um, last year, after the White Album, they um, announced that they were going to do the Black Album, which would be like the follow-up piece to it. It would be a lot darker. Um, and instead, they've announced a completely different album and uh, have said that that album's been put on hold for a little bit. So instead, we're going to get the album Pacific Daydream, which right off the bat, I have to say, has an absolutely beautiful album cover. That album cover is just amazing i'm really really looking forward to owning that in some form and so the new track mexican fender what do i think of it i really really like this track um i don't think it's quite as good as feels like summer for me um my um, opinion feels like summer i've really grown to love that song ever since i um did my review of it earlier in the year i listened to it quite a lot um i've not listened to it in a while but Pretty much since it came out, I listened to it loads. It's probably one of the songs I've listened to most this year. But um, Mexican Fender is still a really, really good song. Um, although not as good as it, I think it definitely comes close, maybe. Um, and you know, I probably would say it's on par of it. I think both songs are really great. This song is definitely much more um, rock-centric than that one. Um, it starts off with this really simple yet effective riff that I, I really like, the opening riff to the track. Um, the, this track is much less a um, pure pop song and more of a pop rock sort of sound. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of um, like Green Album. Maladroit gives me strong vibes of those albums because it kind of has that alternative rock sort of sound that we know and love from the band, but also blends it in with more pop elements, sort of like, especially with the melodies in the track and the instrumentation also. Um, with the track, they um, have some fantastic pop rock instrumentation really crisp and bright sounding drums and percussion throughout the entire track and they also use synths and stuff um, like they did in Feels Like Summer but not quite as much in that track um, in this song it kind of is used to kind of complement everything and just pad out the sound a little bit it doesn't they don't fuel the track or overpower it with synths like they did with feels like summer which was just a pure pop song there was a little bit of guitar and that was about it it was mostly just a synth song um but yeah this song um has a little bit of synthesizers in there but nothing where it's overly dominant on it it is a very very much a guitar driven song which i really really like um it's very different to the White Album, which um, it's good. I would I would be a bit disappointed if the new album was basically just the White Album again. I love the White Album. I think it's one of the band's best albums. Um, but yeah, I, I want something a little bit different. And that seems to be what we're going to get so far. So I'm really excited for the album. Um, and it's actually nice to hear um, the rest of the band on this song. As they weren't really in Feels Like Summer as much. Um, so yes, yeah, nice to see them return a little bit here. Um, the track has some really, really great vocal melodies all throughout. Um, the verse melodies remind me a little bit of King of the World from the White Album in the way that River crams loads of these lyrics into the track in each verse. Yeah, um, yeah it reminds me a lot of that melody from King of the World. Um, lyrically, I'm not a huge fan of the track. Um, especially of the verses because the verses it seems like he's unable to like decide whether he wants the song to kind of rhyme or not there's some lines that don't rhyme at all and then all of a sudden they start rhyming it's a bit confusing um it really threw me off the first time i listened to it and even now where i'm listening to it about five or six times i still i'm not really sure about it it's still it's a little bit confusing for me um, the chorus of the track is just 
absolutely fantastic. It's incredibly catchy. I love the melody of it. Um, this this hook is just so memorable. I've had it stuck in my head ever since it came out yesterday. I just love that chorus and the bridge of the track also sounds like classic Weezer. That melody just sounds like the sort of thing that would be on the Blue Album or even the sort of sound that they carried on to the White Album as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really digging this track. I um, was actually skeptical about the producer, Butch Walker, producing this. Um, the album as a whole, I didn't know he produced Feels Like Summer, but I knew he produced this song because they announced he was producing the album as well. And yeah, I was a little bit skeptical before I listened to the song because um, although he has produced some of the best um, pop rock albums over the last few years, in my opinion, he... Um, Nothing Personal by All Time Low, he did um, Save Rock and Roll by Fall Out Boy, he did Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die by Panic at the Disco. Um, as well as that, he also did co-produce Ratitude, which is Weezer's worst album by far. Um, so I was a little bit skeptical, but this song has really put me at ease. I think he's going to do a fantastic job, at least I hope he is, because, yeah from this track I think he's just blown out of the water I'm really really intrigued to see where this album goes it could be something really interesting um, I don't think it's going to end up being like another Raditude but I guess it's kind of possible considering that they've um, done what they did with the album and gone in more of a modern pop sort of inspired sound um, but I'm hoping that the album's gonna stand out um, and actually be good um, but from the from the sound of things it's already better than Raditude these two singles combined are much better or even on their own are much better than any song on their album so I'm really really excited I'm also hoping that they um, don't kind of do what they did with Raditude and Hurley when they were released a year apart from each other and it doesn't sound rushed because this is going to be released a year after the White Album was. Um, saying that, the Green Album and Maladroit were released a year apart from each other, and Maladroit is one of my favourite Weezer albums, so I don't know, it could go either way. From the sounds of things, it's going to be a really interesting album. I'm by far definitely going to do a review of it when it comes out, um, and I probably will do some more Weezer videos in the future leading up to it, maybe a top 20 favorite songs maybe a review of the blue album or pinkerton two of my favorite albums of all time so yeah i guess we'll see so yeah mexican fender um if i was to give it a score I'd probably give it say a nine out of ten so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time